Hi, I'm Bert Salazar, and we are here in Master Electrician's Review Notes. Learn basic electrical principles and electrical code common questions and some simple electrical calculation commonly given in licensure examination. If you are interested to always get updated, you can watch future videos if you subscribe and hit the notification bell or you can like us on Facebook. To maximize the use of technology available to us, this Master Electrician online review is associated with the use of Moodle app. The app will assist you in your licensure examination review goal. There are thousands of objective questions with answers which will automatically quiz you to build your stock knowledge. You can take exam many times and monitor your performance, but only paid online reviewer can access the site. Don't worry, you can freely watch these review notes today and learn something that add up to your online review goal. Okay, let's proceed. Let's start our review with the theory of electricity. Everything starts from the theory of an atom. All things are made of a very small particles called atom. The air, the rock, the water drops, animals, all living things and non-living things are made of atoms. Atom is the smallest element of matter. It can be in a liquid, a solid, or gas, or plasma. They are too small to see, typically 100 picometer across. Inside an atom is the atomic nucleus. It is a small dense region consists of protons and neutrons at the center of an atom. It was discovered in 1911 by Rutherford based on the Marsden Gold Foil Experiment. The nucleus, the center of the atom, is made up of proton and neutron. And a proton is a positively charged particle of an atom which is uh, its charge is equal to the charge of an electron which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Another part of the nucleus is called a neutron. It is a subatomic particle of about the same mass as the proton but without an electric charge. We call it neutral particles. The last part of the atom is the electron. Orbiting the nucleus, it's like the moon orbiting the earth or the earth orbiting the sun. Or an atom can be compared to a solar system with, with the nucleus being the sun and the electrons being the planets in orbit. An electron is a negatively charged subatomic particle. It can be either free, not attached to any atom, or bound to the nucleus of an atom. It is found in all atoms of matters and acting as a primary carrier of electricity in solids. Electrons have a negative charge and orbit around the nucleus. Kung ang electron can freely flow at walang masyadong hindrance or resistance from one point to another, there will be a flow of electricity. If a force is applied to the electron, then electron will flow from one point to another point and the flow of electricity start. Isa pa sa evidence that electron flow is shown in the simple circuit of a light bulb. With a switch and a battery, once the switch is turned on, the electron will flow from negative terminal of battery going to the positive terminal and it will make the light bulb glow. This is one evidence that there is a flow of electricity. Another evidence of electron flow, you sometimes experience it, is that when you touch a doorknob or sometimes kahit katabi mo sa work, a spark occurred. Bigla kang magugulat. This is another evidence of electricity flow. We have a separate topic on static electricity, how it occurred, what is its application and safety precaution, and the hazard it brings when not controlled. We will discuss that later. Those are the principles involving atoms, electrons, and protons. You will encounter several problems in the board exam questions related to the theory of electricity. I hope this simple explanation guides you. We will tackle more principle in this review notes. In the next video, we will review the principles of series circuit and parallel circuits. Those things has a lot of question in the board exam. You have to make sure you have a strong understanding of it.
for now, you can subscribe in this channel to keep you updated or you can visit my Facebook page and like us to support the Master Electrician's view. For those interested in another resources, fractalknowledge.com offered online review app. The app will assist you in your review goal. There are tons of questions and answers to build your stock knowledge. The Moodle app is available in iOS for iPhone and Play Store for Android. However, you need to However, you need to connect to fractal.moodle.cloud.com to enter the site. A paid enrollment key is needed to access the resource materials in the online review. Please contact and message the following person if you are interested to support your goal to pass the Master Electrician's Review. Just a reminder, ano? just a disclaimer before we end, any opinion expressed in this review note is the personal opinion of mine and does not necessarily represent any organization or company. For the principle of electricity, it was available to all electrical practitioners from textbook and other related references, and I don't own them. References was provided to credit those authors. For images that I use, the images used in this RME review note is for illustrative purposes only and came from public search engine like Google. The images appeared using the keyword listed in the slide or title of the slide. The images was used in this webinar to clarify ideas being presented in a slide. All images are copyrighted by the owner who made it available online. Credit is due to them. As your instructor, I take no responsibility for the information conveyed by the images and does not exert any editing, and therefore does not assume any liability if the information conveyed by the images found in the public search is correct. All images are copyrighted by the owner who made it available online. Reference is listed below the image to credit them. Okay, see you in the next review notes. Thank you.